Addressing the mind, Bhatra Hari is emphasizing on how to continue with self-talk, self-correction, since it is the most important aspect to maintaining your own mental peace and equilibrium. Since everything in life is not going to ever happen the way we wish or desire, it is but natural that the individual experiences disturbances very often in his life. In fact, in an average span, if we assess, a person spends more life of his disturbed than he finds himself with a happy state of mind. Whatever he attributes his terms for his disturbances are, that's immaterial ultimately because we understand that disturbances, externally caused disturbances can only be falling in the category of that which is not in a human control. Like we say, the disturbances that come from Adi Bhautik, Adi Daivik, you know. Adi Bhautik means all the elemental caused disturbances. You have, a, you have the cyclone, you have the earthquake, you have those kind of disturbances which are not in human control. And if our mind gets disturbed, attributed to such causes, it is but natural that there can be a certain degree of endurance and pain both put together for the people who suffer that. Adi Daivik can be from elemental causes uh, of the gods related like storms, etc. Bhautik also including all the external animals and some interrelational aspects. But the disturbances that are actually caused at an individual level, adhyatmic level, Adhyatmic level also there are certain diseases that come with prarabdha which can still be dealt with but the disturbances that are self-caused we ourselves are the reason for our own disturbed mind. Patrahari says here the only way to deal with that state of mind and I started the class by saying take that to be almost major part of our life. On an average life, we are not inflicted by, our lifespan has not got inflicted mostly by severe extreme natural conditions. Our disturbed state of minds proportion to how much peace we experience in life. This cause being adhyatmic, he says the method to deal with that kind of a cause is only self correction. When you keep talking to yourself, you have to reason with yourself. Mind does not understand reasons very easily. What is mind in a human being's life? What is a human mind? Mind is mind of course everywhere. But what is human mind characteristic of? What is its characteristic? What is its, its quality? A mind is known with its impulsiveness. It's known with its likes and dislikes. It, it only understands the aspect of what it sees where happiness lies and it doesn't see anything else beyond it. Wherever it finds happiness attributed to something, 
it just gets into the movement of wanting it there's no reason to it just like a child when you take a small child to a toy shop and a child only experiences happiness at the thought of gaining the toy a boy sees a ball he sees a bat he sees he sees certain toys which excite him and all that he understands is that i want that toy if i get that toy i'll be happy i'll be full i'll be complete and if you deny me that toy but natural that's what we call as throwing tantrums does only a child throw tantrum actually what is in the child also what is throwing the tantrum is the child really throwing the tantrum it's the mind which throws the tantrum the mind feels i have been denied something which was rightfully mine i have been i have been denied what i was deserving and when the mind feels like that within there is no reason to it it's just there the feeling has just emerged vedanta says there is a reason but here in the context of a common person who's yet not got the knowledge of vedanta we are only talking of that person yet that person does not know why am i disturbed that person feels justified that my wanting the toy i deserved it i want it why should i not have it and he justifies it further by saying everyone else has it and if everyone else has it then i should be no exception if i want something why can't i have it as simple as that now when i ask a question if i want something why can't i have it this why can't i have it appears to be a reason it appears to be logic it appears to be a justified thought it appears correct to oneself after all when i look at my my friends around and i see that they have it then why can't i have it now this why can't i have it which appears to be like reason is actually not a reason it is a tantrum this bhatra hari says we all all human beings have these stages in our life where if the cause the adhyatmik reason is there for disturbance i am the cause of my own disturbance there is no other reason to my disturbance that particular state of disturbed mind can only be dealt with a strong reasoning for which you have to differentiate between what is actually justification and what is really reasoning if i say why can't i have it how do you prove that this is justification how do you actually come to the point of saying that this is not reason this is justification because there is that element of i in the reason there is always a universalness the minute i ask a counter question does everyone have it when a child wants a ball and he says why can't i have it he throws a tantrum now the child feels i should have it because the child is looking at another person who has it but if this kind of a reason were to be reason then there would be no disturbance but the truth is such a reason how do you know is justification and not really a reason that question is not a reason but is a justification how do you know that because when you ask a counter question does everyone have it what is the answer the mind will say no not necessary does everyone deserve it what is the answer does everyone not deserve a ball for a child does every child not deserve a ball yes every child deserves a ball but does every child get it no what will happen to this mind then automatically the mind keeps quiet it understands that yes even if i think i should have it i may think i have it even if my reasoning for my sake may be correct but the truth is the fact is it's not in our control lot of things are just not in our control and it is not necessary that i should have everything that i want and i desire so the self inflicted cause of my misery what is the self inflicted cause of my misery here in this example my tantrum that my mind is throwing because it feels the fulfillment of that particular desire by gaining that object 
and if i don't get it i feel i'm denied i'm deprived and i am at loss i'm diminished you know how we keep saying in our classes again and again my association of having things in life gaining things in life with aspects that my personality grows with it if i have more i think i am a more expanded person if i have less than i think i have been denied and i am a diminished person less and more objects and people in life are not actually contributory to who you are as a person who you are as a person is determined only by the qualities that you actually exhibit as a person what kind of a person you are is determining who you are not what kind of things you have and what kind of friends you keep it's, that doesn't determine totally yes there is a quotation you are known by the friends you keep i know your mind was going there there is a quotation that they you you are known by the friends you keep but is it all complete quotation you are known means the kind of care it will only show what kind of a trait you have by the kind of friends you have but who are you is not going to be determined by your friends it's determined by your qualities in fact what your qualities are is what you are choosing as friends and that is what the quotation is saying also who you are is determined by the kind of qualities you exhibit for yourself and the finest quality that a person can grow into is a state of independence a state of an inner cheer unconditional cheer zindagi mein acha bhi hota hai नहीं भी होता है कुछ भी हो जाता है कभी भी हो जाता है कितना भी हो जाता है कैसे भी हो जाता है टेक एनी थिंग थिंग्स हैपन थिंग्स हैपन बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर नॉट इन आवर कंट्रोल सिंपल येट वेन माई माइंड इज नॉट इन माई हैंड बिकॉज माई माइंड इज इन द हैंड ऑफ द कंडीशन दैट आई हैव सेट विद इट the child has set the condition of the ball and if he keeps the condition going as long as he doesn't get the ball is he going to be ever happy for the rest of the life he can hold the grudge the bitterness that i was not given the ball when i was 3 year old who is saying that 40 year old 30 30 year old okay the 30 year old is saying i was not given a ball when i was 3 year old how long will you hold this because your mind which needs to be now quietened by proper reasoning you never take that step and we can be very confidently say, saying this most of the people fall off in their equilibrium inner state of balance and poise because they do not do this step in their life when i am disturbed instead of looking for solutions from outside a disturbed person if he only looks for a reasoning within you don't need anything much honestly the more the disturbed person is the more he looks for also reasons outside to quieten him so when you are very very disturbed if you haven't been given a ball you go and take a you go and take two other things because ball was denied now has this solved the disturbance of your mind agar ek ball nahi mila instead of quietening the mind by reasoning it by saying is it necessary that everyone must have it everyone must get a ball we don't do that step what do we do as a we may rebel at the fact that i was supposed to get a ball and i didn't get a ball and what do we do counter to it we as if trying to please ourselves by getting two more objects of a different nature you know is this going to quieten the mind or has it made it even more firmly rigid that it will not listen to your reason the next time the first time it gets disturbed it is still available to reason but next time when you keep on doing this and most of us by the time we are adult frames have become firmly established when do our frames get established when our height has got established fairly well our frame is we are framed this is called framing our frames are now set iske andar baitha hua jo bhi hai wo frame ke andar hai 
फाइनली तो फ्रेम का बस थोड़ा सा वेर एंड टेयर हो रहा होता है एज एज गोज बाय बट वंस द फ्रेम इज सेट योर माइंड इज स्ट्रॉन्ग नाउ इज रिजिड हाउ रिजिड हैव यू मेक योर माइंड मेड योर माइंड डिपेंड्स अपॉन हाउ लेस यू हैव एजुकेटेड इट एजुकेशन ऑफ द माइंड डजेंट कम फ्रॉम आउटसाइड self talk no one can do we have been because these verses are talking only of self talk fi- finally talking to your own self and what do you talk to yourself is not of the manner of justifying yourself you talk to yourself so that you come to the point of seeing reason and the test of that successful reasoning is you regain your balance you regain your poise and on top of it you will automatically come up with a springy cheerfulness in you why because that's your nature what is a springy cheerfulness what is a spring is this is this a i think it's a nice phrase it communicates well what is a springy cheerfulness cheerfulness ke sath ye kya add kar diya aapne springy cheerfulness kya hoti hai it comes in springs yeah no <laughs> that spring means up it bounces so cheerfulness is you you fall into cheerfulness at the moment what are we all mostly okay not we all we are exceptions mostly what is a person where does he fall naturally into forced not even that he falls naturally into depression he falls naturally into um, unhappiness sadness he naturally falls into a disturbed mind कुछ भी कारण ना हो तो भी दुखी रहना ये आई एम सॉरी आई एम यूज दीज वर्ड्स ये कहा की विजडम है लेट्स पुट इट दिस वे क्या कारण है तुम्हारे दुख का एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग क्या कारण है ही इज गोइंग टू टॉक वेरी सोन अबाउट इट आई एम जस्ट एक्सपैंडिंग इट इन अ कॉमन सेंस वे वॉट इज जो भी दुखी होता है वॉट डू यू फॉल इन टू आई एम रिटर्निंग बैक टू माई प्रीवियस सेंटेंस हम लोगों की नेचुरल आदत क्या बन गई है वॉट डू वी फॉल इन टू स्प्रिंगी चेयरफुलनेस और डू वी फॉल इन टू अ डिस्टर्ब माइंड नेचुरली अपने आप ही से मतलब बैठे बिठाए भी इफ वी आर फाइन एंड वी हैव नथिंग एल्स ऑन आर माइंड एंड एवरीथिंग हैज बीन टेकन केयर ऑफ आर फूड हैज कम ऑन टाइम ऑन टेबल वी वॉट एवर फाइन रिलेशन यू कैन मेंटेन यू हैव फेयर इनफ हार्मनी इन हाउस यू हैव फेयर इनफ सिक्योरिटी फॉर योर सेल्फ यू हैव यू हैव enough abundance more than that is not required you have all that and when you're sitting quiet by yourself what comes is cheerfulness coming or is loneliness coming what comes what does a person experience when he is by himself even if he is reading a book he is done nowadays thanks to all of our social media hame apne sath baithne ko time hi kahan milta hai but chalo let's leave that aside you know what do you slip into when you are by yourself are you slipping into a springy cheerfulness no what is and this is a very safe way of actually making a sweeping statement and i i think it's universally valid what is it that we are all actually experiencing when we are by ourselves are we experiencing the state of our inner cheer or are we actually experiencing by default some rudimentary you understood the rest idhar udhar ki baatein jisne dukh diya humko wo wali baatein wo jisne wo ball jo reh gayi meri 3 saal ki umar mein jo mere maa baap ko deni chahiye thi nahi di mere ko wo ball mere atak gayi hai kahin pe or something like this or my mother in law should have given me this or my mom my, my what is it that we are when we are quiet by ourselves talking are we enumerating to ourselves the list of things that i actually have got every time or those few things that i should have thought i should have got and i didn't get it for which anyway i am again making a bold statement for which anyway i refused to have worked for myself because what was it that i wanted i wanted somebody to give it to me the ball who should have given to me once i started earning how careful am i about buying every ball i don't want that i don't want that i don't want now this is not good this is not worth it this now i will only get the things that are actually worthy i call it worthy for myself if i do 
or I splurge it. Either way, that's besides the point. He says here, your self-talk must mean constant reminder to yourself. Agar jis cheez ko mujhe bahut zada chahiye bhi, mil bhi jaye, what then? You know, what is that Hindi song? Purane zamane ka? Mil bhi jaye, to kya hai? Dunya agar mil bhi jaye, to kya hai? I thought we should start the class by singing it today. Okay, whose who's song was it? Who sang it? Say, Guru Da. Piyasa. Okay, wonderful. Chalo gao karam. Agar dunya agar mil bhi jaye, to kya hai? He is, of course, in a very depressed mood, you know, uh, in the movie, I presume. You know? yeah. Mil bhi jaye, to kya hai? Bhatrahari is almost, almost like that in this verse. Mil bhi gaya tumko, to kya hai? But we are not taking that tone in, in it. We are taking a different tone. We are taking the tone from a Vedantic standpoint, from a Viveka Buddhi. What is it? Even if I get it, what is your mind wanting today? Let's ask now. Abhi mujhe kya chahiye? Suppose it. Mil bhi jaye, to kya hai? What will happen? Supposing I say when I go back home, I want warm dinner, which I don't need to cook. I shouldn't be cooking. Supposing I say that. And I am like all the time inside, I wish I get warm dinner. I wish I get warm dinner when I go home. And if I'm going to be anxious about it, that state of anxiousness is a disturbed mind. Even now, I would be disturbed because deep in me is the want. The want. See how carefully they are connected. How... how intricately they are connected I am maybe here talking something which is very dear to me otherwise and yet in my mind if I have a want that when I go back after the class I want warm dinner on I want warm dinner served supposing even while I'm doing going through this a part of my mind is going to be stuck with the want is this not a universal experience do we identify with this statement? A part of my mind, I'm not going to be 100% here because depending on how deeply my want is, is how much I'm going to be inside there attached to that want and hoping all the way back when I go back also heart to heart, what am I hoping? I wish I get it. I now, whatever the fact is, be for my warm dinner. The fact is, my disturbed mind, what can quieten it? Will it be the getting of the warm dinner which will quieten it? Because if it gets, if it, see how clear we are. If it gets quiet by that, then next time what should have happened? Next time it will not be asking because it's satisfied. But if I get it, I am always, while even I am having it, I am wondering, will tomorrow will I, will I get my warm dinner or not? Will I get it tomorrow or not? Now, what has happened to my having desire got fulfilled also. Mil bhi gaya. But I have not enjoyed it. Why? Because while I am having that warm dinner, I am now already thinking tomorrow will I get it or not. You, know? you will strengthen the want. Now, what is countering it? The minute I say I want warm dinner, you know, minute I have the desire, it's, is it a legitimate desire or illegitimate desire? Legitimate, right? Everybody universal on that. It's a legitimate desire. Everybody, everybody, every human being will want warm dinner. It's irrespective of your status of life. The poorest will also want warm dinner. The richest will also want warm dinner. Nobody is going to ask for a cold dinner and coldly served on top of it. Cold dinner, coldly served. Hey, Bhagwan. God forbid if such, ha such a thing happens. But legitimate desire. How deeply I want it is determining how disturbed I am. What will counter it is what I am saying. I have to immediately say with the help of Bhartra Hari's verse, the minute I recognize that want, I should say, okay, run forward. Few steps ahead in your thinking. You got it. You've got your warm dinner. What then? What then question? Tata kim? Tata kim? Tata kim? What then? Kya ho jayega? Mil bhi gaya tumko? Kya ho jayega? Oh, I'll be happy. Kab tak? Huh? What a question. Will your mind not turn up and say? What a question. Thodi der? Thodi der ke liye itna halla machana. You did not let me enjoy what I was to enjoy now. 
this is a wonderful transaction. I am supposed to enjoy my transaction. You are not letting me enjoy my transaction because you want that. Mil bhi jai. Then what? Are you not going to ask it again tomorrow? A like is a like forever, no? Till we neutralize it, which we don't. So what do we do? A like remains a like for, for good. A dislike also remains a dislike for good. A dislike only gets stronger and it becomes hatred, dvesh. And a like becomes stronger and it becomes attachment, rag, you know, attachment. So attachment brings its own degrees of disturbance. Hatred brings its own degrees of disturbance. Both of them will have to be countered at what stage? That's important for you to practice. You do not counter it at the stage of when it has become attachment and hatred. You counter it at the stage when it has just emerged itself as a want. I want it. You may want it. It's legitimate. But do not get dependent on it. Do not allow it to occupy your mind completely. A want is a harmless want as long as it has not occupied your mind. If it occupies everything in your mind, this want no longer is a harmless want. Even if it's a legitimate desire, it has become a very dangerous want because it is robbing you of your own self. I hope I'm making it clear. What is it robbing you of? Your own person. If you are robbed of your own self, who will live your life? Who is going to live your life if you are robbed of your own self? I think I am stunned. Who is going to live my life if I am robbed of myself and who robs me? Who is robbing actually my own, own life? Who is robbing me from my own living now, here, as I am? I am robbing myself. Why? Because when that little desire came in, I did not know how to counter it. What then? Mil bhi jai. To kya hai? And I am going to take a step further. Bhattrahari is not saying it here. But I am taking that step here. Agar nahi bhi mile to kya hai? Nahi mila to kya ho gaya? What big deal? If I don't get warm dinner when I go back home, kya ho jayega? Am I going to die? Will I not get food at all to survive? Is it food that the body needs or is it the warm food that the body needs for survival? What does it need? Shareer ko an chahiye. An aisa nicely warmly served and warm. Wo thodi us shareer ko apne survival ke liye chahiye. Aur mera purpose jeevan ka kya hona chahiye? Is it supposed to be that I am supposed to enjoy the, the warm food for the rest of my life? Is that all my purpose of life is? If that is going to be the purpose of my life, then I don't know. I shouldn't even be equating it to an animal's life probably will be better than my life then. All that I want in my life is, Rose Ratko, I should get warm dinner, warmly served. Very important. Warm dinner, warmly served. You know? This kind of an agitation is whichever Hindi word, English word, English word, doesn't matter. Dukhane wali apni hi soch. Jis soch se hame hi dukh ho raha hai. Us soch ko badalne ka, rokne ka. What is it? That you spring back to your cheerfulness. Springy cheerfulness is a nice quality to be with for the simple reason that it is your nature. When you get up in the morning, I remember in the uh, as a child, most of us have the habit of lingering. You know, bed pe thodi there, then you want your cuddling and you want all that stuff to happen. My mother was not like that. Utkai akhuli niklo bahar. That's it. You know, get out of bed. Oh, it was so painful. As a child, it's painful, no? When your mother tells you. Now what are you on the bed for? It's, the bed is now no longer your place to be. You start learning. You say, oh, where it, what is that place where I am supposed to be? The world. Because now you have woken up. You have to get into the world. Therefore, once you wake up, you get into the world. But supposing I linger with the fact. I get up. I get up. You know? I let go, matko. You know? Dila dhala. 
half an hour, one hour before I come to my senses. Is that your nature? When you wake up in the morning, how are you supposed to wake up? I wonder if... How are you supposed to wake up? Thank God. I thought it was such an impossible thing that I had said, was it? You wake up springy, but you can only wake up springy. Cheerfully, living cheerfully, when you can empty the disturbance every day also. Because kachra rose bharta hai. How do you manme kachra ke ruk ruk ke sunday ko to sunday bharte hai? Once in a week, aaj allowed hai. Rest of the time, I am not feeling. Ka- no, he is going to use it in 68th verse, the word sansarga dosha. Even the normal interactions of life with so called friends, our own friends, chosen friends. That sansarga, association itself brings in enough disturbance. Well, your friend says something or she did not say something. Both ways there is a disturbance. Zada keh diya, kam keh diya hai. Kehna chahiye tha, nahi kaha hai. Nahi kaha hua, keh diya hai. So many such interactions itself start disturbing the mind, is it not? Yes, it is. You know, since all this is happening all the time, you are filling kachra every day. You know, the worst we said is some, some years ago, there was this study, this actually happened in Bombay. One day, the MCD workers went on strike. We all know that uh, example. No? One day they went on strike. Bombay came to a halt. Why? Because the whole thing was filled with kachra. Nobody had picked it up. What is important in life? See the words carefully. Zindagi mein zada zaruri kya hai? Bharna ya khali karna. If you go on eating food, eating food, eating food, rest I will not complete for the sake of <laughs> <laughs> the maryada of this is. <laughs> Which will you desire more? At that time, is the warm food your desire? It's, it's, you have understood now very well. It is khali karna which is as important a niyam in life. In fact, more important it is than actually bharna. How much do we do this with our minds? We don't do it at all. It is not at all. It is, I mean, I'm stunned and shocked actually that we don't have this discipline in our life at all. Hum jitna bharte hai, dimag mein apne. मन में अपने दिमाग तो खाली है हमारा कुछ भी नहीं चलता है वहां पे बट <laughs> मन में जो हम भर के रखते हैं इसको खाली करने का डिसिप्लिन नहीं है क्या हमारे पास मतलब डिड वर वी नॉट एक्सपोज टू दिस इन आवर लाइफ एट ऑल खाली हैज टू ऑल्सो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ माय एवरीडे प्रोसेस बिकॉज फिलिंग इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ माई एवरी प्रोसेस इफ टू रन द बॉडी इफ टू जस्ट लेट द बॉडी बी हेल्दी आई फिल इट अप थ्री टाइम्स अ डे Minimum. Some of us more. You know? Minimum if I do this much, mind which is interacting the minute it's woken up, how many moments of interaction it has taken with how many kinds of people and its own past three-year-olds bharawa, three-year experience, then four-year, no, three-year, three-and-a-half-year, quarter to four-year, four-year, then five-year, ek, ek, vai sab jo, it's like, you know, your, your standouts, marks, markets, post-its. Standing out in your life are those 10, 15 experiences which gave you pain. Standing out in your life are not those hundreds of experiences that you have lived, which have actually allowed you to continue to live because if, those 10, 15 were so important, you would have died. I'm making a terrible statement. Mar gya hota ek insaan tab tak to. Agar itna dukh ho ra hota jeevan mein to. Nahi. Hamara moment of dukh actually eventfully, like I started the class by saying, Adi daivek, Adi bhautik, sources of dukh alone are justified dukh. Now when there's a cyclone and people have lost their homes, when there is cold and people don't have woolens to wear, there is no food at all, there is star- there's no rains, there is no growth of, of, uh, of, of grains. Such causes of pain are pain, but those that we inflict on ourselves by our own lack of reasoning, by our own lack of a discipline of emptying our own mind, 
by unreasonable gathering unreasonably gathered thoughts and emotions and feelings and etc etc he says here bhadra hari very beautifully remember the words tata kim tata kim mil bhi jaye to tata kim take an example and the best example that we put up is a young person kyunki uski zindagi mein dikhta hai bahut zyada teenager when you want a partner in your life i'm talking of teenage not a little later when you're more matured yourself and you genuinely think acha reality has struck in when teenage life mein ye pehla insaan dikha nahi to main lagta hai ye to meri zindagi ka goal hai iske bina to main jee nahi sakta iske bina to mera kuch ho pata nahi kya 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 dimag mein chalta hai tab <laughs> she switched off <laughs> okay <I'm> not <laughs> whatever goes on in your mind at that point of time this is so important to me you may think that that person is thinking it is so very important to me i can't live without this a sensible child will instantly ask himself herself nahi bhi mila to what else kya ho jayega what then tata kya mil gaya to kya hoga pehle ye poocho ye insaan mil bhi gaya the minute you will ask i am 100% sure we will grow out of the person because how long is that person really attractive to you is as long as it's not reachable jab tak wo dur hai that mystical element or something tab tak that person is still you want to know or you want to understand you want to be but the minute you say mil gaya tab kya tata kim you want wealth and wealth and wealth mil gayi tata kim मिलने के बाद खो गई वॉट आर यू सपोज टू से ताता के हैज योर लाइफ एंडेड हैव ऑल द जॉयज एंडेड इफ यू रॉन्गली एट्रीब्यूटेड योर जॉयज एंड हैपीनेस एंड योर स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ योर माइंड टू द एक्विजिशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड पीपल देन बट नेचुरल योर स्टेट ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस विल बी वेरी हाई बट हेयर थ्रू दीज वर्सेज you just understand and very strongly take this exercise in your own life you take the discipline in your life every day it's okay tata ke jo bhi cheez jo bhi karan ho kuch nahi khatam hota hai inme because manna to ek hi baar hai aur wo bhi we can't decide it's already decided when i when the frame was being built when the frame was given my birth was destined when i have entered the frame my expiry date is already written only i don't know because all of us have our own quantum <coughs> of pranas we have it written now don't start getting disturbed at that thought also accept it manna to hai na to roz roz manna bhi zaruri hai kya every day also i will die but i am not dying but no but this is called the process of dying this is not called the process of dying this is torturing yourself he says here very beautiful words very beautiful i i really think this is something that the whole world should know tata kim tata kim should become a discipline for us because our own self disturbance can i'm repeating to summarize it our own self caused disturbance can only be negated solved resolved by our own reasoning and the best reasoning that we can tell the mind in a state of a disturbed state is strongly put the counter question you yourself put the counter question tata kya if your visa gets gets uh, cancelled supposing and you so strongly want it want it want it want it at that time come hail come storm come anybody come god himself in front of you and say ki nahi koi baat nahi you will throw the god also on one side and say how do you know how much i want it you know what are you supposed to tell yourself at that tata came because with every gain there is a loss, loss. and with every loss there is a gain but if who will maintain the balance as the bhagavad gita says samatva kiske paas hai kaun sam le sakta hai neither gain excites him beyond normal because he doesn't depend on it no loss depresses him that he can't be lifted up why because gain and loss are a part of life 
आता है जो आता है वो जाता है जो जाता है वो फिर आज कुछ और आ जाता है ऐसा तो नहीं है कि कुछ आता ही नहीं है खाली तो नहीं रहते हो सो तता किम तता किम तता किम दिस इज ब्यूटिफुल भजन नो दैट यू वॉल लर्न ऑल्सो तता किम तता किम इट्स लवली वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ गेटिंग द होल वर्ल्ड ही इज गोइंग टू यूज दैट इन द नेक्स्ट वर्स दुनिया में सब मिल भी जाए तो क्या है ही सज प्राप्ता श्रिय श्रिय इज प्रॉस्पेरिटी श्री श्री इज वेल्थ प्रॉस्पेरिटी ब्यूटी जो कुछ भी तुम्हें डिजायरफुल है वट एवर यू डिजायर इन लाइफ इज कॉल्ड श्री दैट ब्यूटी इंटेलिजेंस प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑल लविंग फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कॉल दम फ्रेंड्स हु आर लविंग आई एम अटैचिंग दैट लविंग वर्ड अलॉन्ग विद इट सो दैट यू कैंट हैव फ्रेंड्स हु आर नॉट picking up your telephones when you call them you want friends who are there you have all of that that's called having shri prapta ha means you've already got them bhadrari is telling his mind you have enough shri you have acquired enough prosperity enough shri how much is it sakala kama dudaha dudaha is milking he says they are there is so much prosperity you have earned that it is actually milking all sakala har kisam ka tumhari jo desire hai it feeds every bit of it that much you have how much have prosperity do you have so much that every desire of yours is fed you know one order of you over here she is saying but i don't have that much so the rest of the world she is not listening to only now pehle mujhe yahan tak to aane do she is saying <laughs> He is is saying saying tak zarurat nahi hai aane ki. that's what he's saying. he says sab kuch aane ke baad bhi, he says 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 next word he says, what then so he's saying oh mind you acquired prosperity which can milk all your desires what then then the next line he says being a king that he was renouncing that kingdom and taking to a life of asceticism just for the renunciation just for the sake of under just born from the fact understanding that nothing in life is lasting happiness based on that he takes to the life of renunciation so as a king he keeps coming up with these examples for a king what is important conquering kingdoms so he says even if you have nyastam padam you know you have placed the feet your feet you know on what means you have crushed shirasi you know with vishatam the enemy's heads you have crushed by your feet you have conquered so much as a king you have achieved that you know tata ke what then batra is telling his mind you have done this you have conquered kingdoms what then supposing we ask this in our own language one example i have already given simple example but if you are a businessman supposing you are you have certain obstacles to your business even if they get removed what then no 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 i have a roaring business even then what then you think it will last forever you really think a roaring time lasts roaringly ever there no if it is not roaring do you think that stage will last forever no he says equate it to your life if you have a family happiness today you really think it is going to last forever no he said these in the previous verses no you start with a single person then you are with your siblings and you are with your parents then you slowly move out into your own sphere of life then you form another unit then after, then you are 3 4 5 depending on how many children you have 3 4 5 you start calling yourself a family and then what happens is the children start moving out now ultimately at the end of your life you started one you remain one, one. you know everybody moved into their own life he says this time that you have unless and until you learn to enjoy it thoroughly by not constantly coming up with complaints in life with shortcomings of life ye nahi hai wo nahi hai ye aisa hai are you know 
when you didn't have children you wanted children now that you have children now you want that kind of a child you know just ab wo hota to you would have wanted something else except you are destroying your own happiness tata kim he says even if you get that powerful position in life tata kim even if you become the chairman of of even if you uh, if you become uh, next to bill gates tata kim even if you get the job in uh, in i forgot tata kim even if you don't get it tata kim it's okay life is much more than getting things in life because getting things in life are only going to be left behind for others to take care remember how whatever you've got in life you have to leave it behind for others to take care your bestest of most expensive stuff that you have spent so much time buying worn it two three four times you were so disturbed to get it after that who's going to take care of it someone else will know whatever you're going to get is that going to create the happiness for you forever tata kem then he says what else do you want in life he says sampadita ha pranayina ha he says sampadita ha means you have got so much you've collected so much that pranayina ha those who are very dear to you friends in other words yeah. your own vip with bhavai he your own wealth you have accumulated so much that it's the wealth which is bringing you friends so you have enough that you have earned for yourself that you have many friends around you he says tata ke no because a king can only want these things no he says tata ke then what he says moreover he says kalpasthita kalpasthita ha kalpa kalpa is remember our time of the cycle one kalpa that this creation will last he says thitaha tanubratam tanavaha your own body you have by your own yogic practices supposing managed to last till the end of the kalpa along with all your loved ones means you've done so many such yogic practices you have done so much of yoga and discipline means you have not indulged in any point of life that you have extended the life of the body almost to last till the end of kalpa itna bhi tumne practice kar liya tata ke so by giving these three examples four examples he is very clearly brought everything into the context whether it's material friends material wealth whether it's emotional attachments whether it is your own practices of the nature which does not contribute to your fullness so yoga is a practice which is not contributing to your fullness if you have an idea that will give me everlasting life supposing you do yoga only with that end and you achieve it also it will not give you that full continuing with this he says <coughs> what then if i get it all and in the next verse he finishes this thought he says if there is no devotion in life if i am not attaching myself to the paramarthik satyam to that which lasts even when my body falls off agar maine uske sath apne aap ko nahi jodne ki koi bhi cheshta ki pura janam maine bita diya to get this and that and that and this and i got it also but what then he says instead if i have that constant little fear of death and disease and dk and etc which makes me move to get attached to the higher realm my own being which i have to come closer to unless and unless i put in that effort he says everything else is just a waste of time because everything else loses its significance at another point of time but there is only one thing which is everlasting and any effort that you put in for that is also never going to waste that effort is coming close to your own self and before you come close to your own self in knowing who you are and as vedanta says that your atman and the satman is brahman that's a very long way for most of us but before that even if you have come as close as maintaining equilibrium in life equipoise in life 
and for today's class i would say as long as you have maintained some degree of a equal state of a springy cheerfulness every day of your life years ending i'm not giving you new year resolutions no that's a very dangerous thing to do but go back at least in the year what things were there that would have been so important that they could have disturbed you aisa kya zaruri reh gaya tha at another point does it still have the same significance no so while things are not happening the way they are supposed to happen why am i not able to still remain detached from it and keep myself anchored to myself and my own peace and happiness relatively keep aspiring for greater stability for greater self knowledge as i keep moving towards that that is the only thing you will carry with you because as only thing you carry in your sleep what is it that you carry in your sleep will your wealth you carry in your sleep will your position status power friends anything you carry in your sleep but what have you carried in your sleep are the thoughts that you entertain in the waking what you have entertained is what you have in you that alone gets into resolution and that alone comes surfaces again in the experience of your life as a waking experience this if you are careful of living every day what am i collecting are my impressions and if i don't take the effort of cleaning myself then i remain kachra and kachra is never healthy and it also stinks stinks kachra stinks so if i have raga dvesha kama krodha lobha moha insecurities of life fears of life anxiousness of life i may all call them normal ye to normal hai sab kuch lekin ye normal nahi hai kyunki normal kya hona chahiye jo tumhara swabhav hai what is your nature inherent nature that is normal not living your inherent nature is not normal so you are emptying it by constantly reminding yourself tata kem tata kem tata kem tata kem even if and for us supposing we say as more serious students of vedanta supposing this even if i acquire all the knowledge of all the vedantic upanishads upanishads ki knowledge aa jaye bhagavad gita i know up and down i can quote aage piche i know my brahma sutra if i don't have the devotion for lord if i don't have devotion for my atma gyan means i don't have a value for it i only have a value for the acquired knowledge that acquired knowledge i will not carry with me what i will carry with me is my own inner state of maturity if i don't have that maturity in me then i have lost it all anyway so tata kim even if i know it all it doesn't matter even if everyone is saying oh wonderful wonderful one tata kim even if you all turn up and say how boring this is tata kim because my happiness cannot rest on outside your verification is not required because this is an offering to this is an this is a relation only with ishwara he will be happy or not happy or he is not in the sense of a he but unless the jiva connects to the absolute source within the relative source that is why it is all relative happiness born from relatives and dependent on it this he concludes in this and next verse beautifully he says before another two verses i think he will wind up this and gradually move on and the last 10 verses he emphasizes a lot on the mind to say now that he has got shama adama he's put everything in perspective in all these verses so far then he says do nitya nitya vastu vivek vichar बैठ के सोचो जीवन में परमानेंट क्या है ऐसा नहीं है कि कुछ भी नहीं है लेकिन तुम इम्पर्मनेंट में इतने खोए रहते हो यू आर सो लॉस्ट एंड एब्सॉर्ब इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड एनचैंटेड बाय द वर्ल्ड दैट यू आर नेवर एवर सिटिंग एंड इंक्वायरिंग व्हाट इज टू बी इंक्वायर्ड एंड दैट अलोन इज द पर्पज ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ यू गॉट योर लाइफ ओनली फॉर दैट रीजन एंड यू हैव स्पेंट इट अवे चेजिंग द लॉलीपॉप ऑफ लाइफ एंड दीज लॉलीपॉप जॉय इज ओनली लास्ट so small shanikam shanikam tatakim is a wonderful way of keeping balance in your mind 
it's okay life is not so conditional इट्स फाइन थोड़ा इधर उधर उन्नीस बीस कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है नहीं नहीं हमको तो ऐसा ही चाहिए वैसा ही चाहिए तो मिल गया तो अच्छा है नहीं मिला तो अच्छा है और ये बात समझने में हमें कितना वक्त लग गया पता नहीं अभी भी समझ आया कि नहीं वी यूज टू से ऑलवेज आई एम नॉट लुकिंग एट यू वी यूज टू से ऑलवेज मिल जाए तो अच्छा है नहीं मिले तो और भी अच्छा है लोग क्या कहते हैं मिल गया तो बहुत अच्छा है नहीं मिला तो बहुत बुरा है हम कहते हैं मिल गया तो अच्छा है नहीं मिला तो बहुत ही अच्छा है क्योंकि यू विल रिमेन बैलेंस्ड फोकस्ड विल कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट टाइम